ladies and gentlemen well the bills did really well in week one making me look pretty stupid yeah i did predict that anyways new week new game for the bills and their opponent the miami dolphins before i get to the preview though subscribe and like this video anyways let's get on with the video so week one went really really well for the buffalo bills while they did only win by 10 points against the bad jets team the game was comfortably wrapped up by halftime quarterback josh and really outperformed sam darnold and while he did miss wide open john brown in the end zone he probably played his best or second best game in the bills jersey he finally topped 300 passing yards ran for 57 more and saw some solid throws to six and john brown Speaking of those two, who's the team's true number one wide receiver? Both of them look like one in week one, and that is encouraging if you're the Bills. However, the running game left much to be desired. Zach Moss and Devin Singletary both struggled to gain any momentum, but they should have an easier time as they are facing the Miami Dolphins who gave up about 150 rushing yards to the Patriots last Sunday. Also not so encouraging was kicker Tyler Bass. Yes, there is some controversy if he missed his first ever field goal, but he did have a shaky performance. They'll have to see. They're going to stick with him for week two, so we'll have to see on that. In week one, Ryan Fitzpatrick and the offense struggled against a once again styled Patriots defense. They scored only 11 points. Fitzmagic got picked off three times and they really felt the loss of wide receiver Devontae Parker. Second year running back Miles Gaskin was their top rusher for 40 yards and 9 carries which I guess isn't terrible. However the Dolphins will have to play a much better game against the great Bills defense. However that Bills defense may be missing key linebackers Tremaine Edmonds and Matt Milano. However the linebacker core for the Bills still performed really well after these two injuries in the second half against the Jets. But the Finns defensive interior looked as strong as melted cheese. The interior was completely outmuscled and outmatched against a physical Pats offensive line, which isn't even as good as the Bills. Who had a stroke there? Cam Newton was able to strut into the end zone because of this week's play, so head coach Brian Flores is hoping for a rebound from his front seven. So, with all of this talked about, let's see what our BSC panel has predicted for this important week two matchup.